Okay, welcome back to the channel. We've got a driver head-to-head -head video for you today and two of the big boys for 2021 in the way of the Ping G45 Max driver and also then the Callaway Epic Max. So two of the more forgiving drivers, very stable. We've had some really good tests in these in the initial reviews. So interested to put these uh, side by side, similar sort of lofts or same lofts, should I say. We're going to test a little bit of dispersion here because they are promoting more of a stable driver as well as a little bit of ball speed and also the distance. Okay, so we're going to kick off with the Callaway Epic Max. So obviously a lot of technology, as you expect from Callaway. You've got flash face uh, technology in the club face itself with the new speed frame jailbreak technology that is, is what Callaway said is encouraging a little bit more speed off that club face. We've got shifting weight on that back, which I'm going to keep in a, a neutral position. Obviously adjustable neck sleeve, playing this at nine degrees. And for a large club, obviously out of the, the head sizes of the three models that it, they offer now, this is the largest sort of footprint. So ultimately pulling that CG low and back as far as they can helps with that increasing the MOI and obviously that stableness, forgiveness, and also that ball speed. Let's get this first one underway. Good looking driver down with the ball, sits very square, which is good. Beautiful top uh, gloss, a little bit of carbon there. Okay, that's a good solid hit. Great sound to that straight away there. Really good sounding driver and a nice opening tee shot. So both these drivers have got a nine degree, both in an X Flex in that 65 to 70 gram area. So similar as I can possibly get them, same length of shaft. Okay, it felt a little bit, a little bit of that right hand side, just peeling a fraction. Okay, as I say, first real, well, not first instincts, but the instincts there is the sound. It's, it's a great sound. And they've done it for a few years now, Callaway, I feel, is they've really got the acoustics right on the button. Uh, it's good looking product. It sits nice behind that golf ball, but just sounds very, very solid. That's a nice ball flight. Lovely trajectory on that. So decent ball speed around that sort of mid 160s. Typically expect to get that. So to say these are obviously promoting more around this real sort of forgiveness MOI with that weight shifting back, larger footprint, shifting CG low and back in the club face. As you can appreciate, the further get this weight back in the club head, club's traveling at speed against that stationary ball. We miss the center. There's gonna create a twist, isn't there? So if we can have more weight back here, that twist is limited a little bit more than if the CG weight was more forward in the club. So that helps to try and keep that stable club face, keep the ball speed up. That's a nice solid hit. Nice and neutral on that ball flight. That's probably the straightest one out of the batch of hit. 166 ball, little bit more club head speed with that particular one. 297 carry. Okay, that was a little bit higher up that club face, just launched out a touch higher. Yeah, you can see that ball strike there. Just lose a little bit of speed with that one, but still good carry because I've got that extra bit of launch. Okay, so there's five shots hit there with the Epic Max. So very stable uh, driver, hit most of the fairways there. So we'll move into the G425 Max and we'll see the comparison. So G425, as I say, this is the max. So again, it's a big footprint down by the golf ball. We've got that tungsten weight, which is now quite a heavy weight there, positioned right in that back section. Again, I've got this in a neutral position, but you can move it more draw, more fade uh, to really sort of dial in ball flight. Got it at nine degree again. And it's a different looking driving comparison, obviously to the Callaway. This is matte black. We've got the turbulators on top, uh, not quite as busy as maybe previous G uh, models, but again, sits good down by that golf ball. Okay, and touch low in the club face on that one. That might just spin up a tiny bit. So that launch just comes out a bit low there around that nine, spin gets up a little bit high. Won't be the most efficient that with that strike. But first thing jumps out there, sound. And I mentioned this on my review videos with a ping. I'm a big fan of this. I think it's a really good driver, all three models, to be honest. But the sound is just that little bit loud. It's probably the only negative I've got with it, to be honest. Again, it's personal on that sound. Some people won't mind it. Some people be a little bit more fussy with it. That's a nice hit. It is a lot louder. Definitely hear that sort of acoustics there. 292, good numbers though. 
I think this is the real theme for, for 2021 with a lot of the new products now is this more stable drivers, the more straighter hitting golf clubs, uh, which I think is obviously a good thing. You know, I think obviously the drivers are getting maxed out, in my opinion, in terms of ball speed off the club face. Where do they go from there? I'm not sure. I'd be really interested to see in a, in a few years' time, won't it? But I think this is how they start adding more weight in certain areas, stripping down and, the, and maybe new materials being involved uh, through the years and how they create more of a stable and it's just interesting how all the brands now are working more in and around that that sort of theory in a way and it, and it makes a lot of sense you know okay distance is great and it's great to have that little bit of distance but you're always going to be limited to your club head speed there's always going to be a, um, a barrier there isn't there in terms of maxing the speed so if you can increase your accuracy off the tee hit more fairways potentially more run out of the golf ball it makes your next shot so much easier etc and that's a good way of then lowering your scores That's a lovely ball flight, really good ball flight there. It, I mean, it feels, it feels really good. Not quite as quick with that one. You know, I think Ping have probably never been renowned to be the longest drivers out there in terms of distance, but a very solid product. Yeah, that's a lovely ball flight. Really good, I love the feel of that. I love the ball flight sort of scene with that. Bit club head speed, good ball speed again. It's been just a little bit high, so that strike's just fractionally low. I just feel like I get a little squeezy one. Um, that's where that spin just goes up. That, again, that's more my delivery, to be fair. I mean, obviously, I've, I've could I've options to go into LST head, get that spin down a little bit more, but obviously, we're comparing two of the, the bigger footprint drivers, so maybe not to worry too much really on that spin and really dialing it in for me, but more in regards to this accuracy, I think, is more the point of this video. Yeah, very neutral on the ball flight. Feels like I've got a lot of control with that. Okay, there's five shots hit with the ping. Let's go and check a few numbers out in a little bit more detail. Okay, so looking at the dispersion rings to start off with, so white was the Callaway, yellow was the ping. So in terms of looking at left to right dispersion, you can see there's not a great deal in it. Probably, if anything, the ping just pips it a little bit because they're the furthest ones to the right. That's the furthest one to the left. Compare that with the Callaway. You know, I think still the Callaway, you know, we're, we're looking at sort of five yards, 15 yards, maybe sort of 20 yards right of that center line. But it obviously depends on the size of the fairway. Potentially that could be just catching that, that sort of semi-rough gun tip maybe. Uh, so maybe Ping just winning it a little bit on that small little sample of five shots hit each with these drivers. If we maybe just have a quick look at the strike pattern. So these are all the strikes with the Callaway uh, model there. So you can see slightly high, slightly in that heel section with the and then the ping can see a little bit more central there, but then it got a couple a little bit lower, which will obviously just pop that spin up a tiny bit. And then sort of down the view, down the line view, bird's eye view, etc. Sorry, side on and bird's eye view of the driver. So again, this is a Callaway through the consistency of that window. Again, my little subtleties of where I'm hitting on that club face will just make that difference of how that ball launches out. Uh, but very, very sort of tight really on that carry, carry distance. And then looking at the ping, quite similar in a way just not quite as long on the distance there but in terms of the consistency of the the window very much similar okay and then when we have a look at the numbers now so you can see club head speed 112.1 111.7 so nothing in it really there's 0.4 of a mile hour over five shots i think if you hit 10 shots that might even get less uh, so very similar on the the swing speed there we can see ball speed 161, 163.1, 164.5. So we're going to expect a little bit more ball speed because we've got a touch more club head speed, uh, but maybe a little bit hotter if you've got a bit of an argument there. But again, it's not a huge amount, nothing that would really sort of sway it. Launch angle, absolutely identical. A couple of low ones there as I just miss it slightly. Spin number, you can see just a touch lower with the... Uh, with a, uh, sorry, the ping there and the Callaway just a little bit high. A couple of those little healy ones will just spin up a touch more. But really, there's nothing splitting it there at all. Is that is, is you know it's very very similar on those numbers. But maybe if we have a little look at the side total, so this is obviously away from that centre line in feet. So you can see the biggest miss there was a 51 feet to the right of that centre line and a 36 to the left. With a Callaway, we could see we had a 75 foot to the right and a 50 foot to the left. So on that basis, uh, we can't really look at it as average because obviously a big right miss will cancel out a big left miss. Uh, but in terms of the bigger misses, we saw less with the ping. So on that 
accuracy side of things, maybe the ping, ping just pipping on that small test. Right, okay, so for me, two really good drivers for 2021, and I feel these would be popular options for a lot of uh, club golfers uh, out there. So looking at the accuracy, I think the ping is just pipping it there, isn't it? I mean, the Callaway was 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 pretty accurate. Ping maybe just on those, on those five shots hit, and I appreciate it's a small sample. Obviously, you're gonna do a bigger sample when you go out and test these yourselves, but it just gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, you know, so the ping just pipping it on that side of things. But then you've also then got to weigh into in, in, into the environment of you perching these emotions into, you know, which do you like prefer the look off? A little bit different on the look. You know, I, I quite like both. I mean, a little bit more, maybe more of a fan of the Callaway look, possibly. Um, but I'm not offended. I mean, I play with a ping G400, so I'm not offended with the ping look at all. Those turbulators, some people love them, some don't. Um, in terms of then sound and acoustics, maybe as I said before, maybe that's the only slight negative with the ping is just that sound. It's a little bit tinny, it's a little bit loud. That could put a few people off. I think the sound, again, this is personal, but the sound of the Callaway is, is really on point. So accuracy wise, ping, sound, maybe look, possibly the Callaway. Again, it's personal. Love to hear your thoughts as always between those two drivers. So comment down below. Are they on your radar to go and try? Is that something that you'd be looking to maybe get fitted for? Love to hear your comments as always. Um, so do post them in the comment section down below. Appreciate you watching the video as always. If you've enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed, please just hit that subscribe button. Very much appreciate the support as always. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.